Yeah, it is. Um, you know, we're really keen to give him a um, fresh role and fresh task, and um, so far so good. Barrow, he's um, you know he's really approached the start of pre-season really well. Um, he's come back in good nick, and um, yeah, we'll give him a new challenge with uh, a wing role this year. So he must have a big tank because he's, he's known for his running ability as well. Yeah, he's well, he's clearly a yeah, good runner, um, good size, um, and a really good kick. So he's got some real key traits to be able to execute wing role. Liam Henry, um, what are you expecting from him next year? Could he possibly play a few games? Oh, anything's possible um, for all of our draftees. Um, at the moment, they've you know really fresh into pre-season. They've only been here for probably you know five sessions, so um, it's early days. Uh, Liam, he, he's got to get through um, his knee injury, so he's still in a rehabilitation um, phase of his of his pre-season. So he's got to get tick that box first, and like I said, anything's possible from there on. How do you rate him as a player? Have you seen much of him? Uh, yeah, clearly got a lot of talent. Um, you know. I think a, a large part of being a good forward line player is you need speed and, and some tricks. I um, mean, he's definitely got that. And Brett Beauty, you were saying that he, he's impressed you since you've been here? Yeah, well, there's been a number of players that have impressed. Um, he's won. Um, he's come back um, in yeah, peak physical condition. Uh, he's an elite runner. But, you know, the way he's been training in our, in our, in our skill drills has really um, impressed me. Um, yeah, he's going really well. What are the early impressions of the draft days so far? Um, early impressions are um, they're all got terrific characters. Um, they're really respectful of the opportunity that the club's given them, um, and we're you know grateful for um, what them and their families are, are going to do for our footy club in the future. Are there many you feel are physically ready for an early season debut? Uh, like I said with Liam, anything anything's possible. Um, when you when you look at the the, the vision of the under 18s and, and you see them against their own um, peers, um, underage peers, they, they look like good sizes, but when they come and put a, a tank top on and they join in our training against some mature AFL bodies, they do look a bit slight, slight of build. So they've got a little bit of work to do in the gym, um, clearly got a lot of work to do in understanding our game plan, and um, but you know anything's possible. Um, you know, we've seen kids um, have impact at um, AFL footy clubs at early, early in their career, and. I wouldn't put any limits on our players. And how's Alex Pierce post-surgery? Yeah, really upbeat um, and really positive about the surgery and really positive about um, getting back earlier um, than anticipated. So, um, yeah, it's been a, it's been a positive positive um, step forward for him. Um, you know, it, it put, puts him at ease a little bit, um, knowing that the procedure will help him. And um, it's probably not necessarily about the early part of the season for Alex. It's more about his longevity and making sure that when he gets out there, we get him out there for a long period of time. Is it a testament to his character that he that he still remains positive? I mean, he's just had that many setbacks. Yeah, absolutely, absolutely, and that's why he's a leader of our footy club. Uh, no, we expect him early in the year, to be honest. Um, we don't think the the surgery um, is a big restriction and 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 uh, a big. I suppose uh, setback. I think um, the surgery, if anything, is going to really help him um, with his confidence in his injury, but also help it progress a lot quicker than it could have. So it should be right for round one. Well, uh, yeah, it's, there's a lot of hurdles he's got to cross before round one comes around, but um, you know, we, we plan to see him early in the season still. How's just how you pull up with his car? Yeah, he's he's fine. Um, like I said, I've said before, his ego was a little bit dented, but he was here the next day. He was running. Um, and as you'll see today, he's progressing really well with his rehab and hope to see him with the main group soon. Can I, sorry, can I do that then? Is, he, is it just a hold on, actually, in that network or do you go through a process? Oh, we'll go through a process, but we haven't outlined that process yet. Um, you know, I'm early in my tenure here. I'm getting to build relationships with all our players and, you know, you know what I've seen so far, and that is a you know, really strong leader around the footy club. So, um, but we'll... we'll We'll work that out as the pre-season unfolds and um, yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll get that to you when we come up with a process and, 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 and timing, I suppose. Are you expecting a, a Blake Akers maybe to get in the leadership group? You mentioned a couple of weeks back that he wanted to, to be a leader for those younger guys. Oh, I haven't really thought about that. I haven't, to be honest, I haven't really thought about you know, members, numbers of leadership groups. So I'm really trying to get a good understanding of 
um, who, the great, who the good influences are within our footy club and um, I'm liking what I'm seeing at the moment. We've got a number of players that have been really strong communicators on the field and um, have driven our education sessions off the field and that's what we're about with our leadership program. We want to make sure we've got a real depth of leadership at our footy club and I'm um, not going limit, to limit it to a number in a leadership group to be a leader. Did you enjoy yesterday's, uh, sorry, Saturday's session? Yeah, it was, it was fantastic and like I said to um, the women's program, we're, um, we want to wish them all the best with, with their pre-season um, and, and their season. Um, and you know, we're, we're different programs but we're fighting for a common cause and that common cause is to make this footy club a great footy club and um, we both represent the club um, you know, with, with, with all we've got every time we walk out. So um, you know, they've, they've had a great season last year and we hope that um, they can back it up this year. Previous years, the skill areas for this club has been something that's been brought to light. How does it kind of stack up to, say, Tom and Collingwood uh, with the level of skill with these players? Um, yeah, I, the program we've implemented is not a program based on what happened at the footy club prior. It's based on my thoughts and philosophies of how to develop our players um, holistically. And the two clubs that I worked at previously did a lot of work on their skill development, but it's not just about been um, you know, kicking the footy a lot at training. It's about setting up drills that, so that um, we're really specific with the kicks we're after and uh, making sure that every kick you have at training can transfer to you being a better kick on game day. And um, you know, I think our players have adapted really well to that um, mantra, I suppose. And um, I think that you know, I think it's going well so far. How do you feel you're um, fitting into the club since you've started? Oh, I feel like um, oh, yeah, I'm really enjoying it. Um, and on reflection, you know, it's been, it has been really enjoyable. Um, you know, there's been a lot of firsts as well for me as a coach. Um, so with first brings a little bit of anxiety and I've had to, you know, work my way through that and feel like I've come out a better coach for it. Um, feel like with the appointments of, um, you know, Simon Garlic, um, you know, Peter Bell already here, we, we, we're really aligned as a footy, really aligned as a footy club and really looking forward to working with everyone, you know, on a common purpose going forward. Gus, are you spending much time, extra time, with Jesse Hogan to get him to where you want him and to tell him, you know, what what your expectations are of him and deal with his other issues as well? No, not really, not really. I'm trying to spend as much time as I can with every player on our list. Um, it's important that, as a football club, we look to develop all our players equally and give them, give all our players opportunity to develop um, in all areas of their game. So. Um, Jesse's just one of one of our players who I spend time with, but I wouldn't say I'm spending more time with him. Are you happy with where he's at and where he's looks like what trajectory he's on? Yeah, I am. Um, I mean, it's a bit of a worrying injury, the one that he had, and um, he's really positive, and the club's really positive that we've fixed some of the issues, and um, you know, it's stronger than that that bone that he broke in his foot's really strong, and as you'll see today, he's doing a lot of volume with his running and kicking, and as I said before, I hope he hope he's in. Um, you know, full training soon. And how far away is Nathan Wilson to, to full training? He's got the, the foot, footwear off at least. Yeah, yeah, it's a bit of a bit of a weird injury, I suppose. Um, big toe, but they take a little bit of time because they bear a lot of weight. Um, yeah, but he's got the he's got the um, footwear off. He's in normal footwear now. Um, he's walking uh, really freely. Um, he's he's cross training and, and working on his fitness, and we expect to see him early Feb. Have you got many others in the in the rehab group? Seems like you don't have too many at this stage of the year. Oh, there's, there's always a few. Uh, there's always a few that sort of come in and out of training uh, spasmodically over the pre-season, but don't think we're any different to any other club. And the guys that have been on long-term injuries and missed a large chunk of last year are progressing really well. And Fifey looks like he's progressing well from from the shoulder. He's doing look like he's doing a bit of contact the same last week. Yeah, yeah, no, he's progressing really well, um, and uh, it's just a matter of holding him back at the moment. He's really keen to get out there and lead and you know, show strong direction forward for the footy club and oh, we just got to hold him back. He, he gets enough bat, bash and crash throughout the year. Um, so we'll um, just manage him up till Christmas and let him loose post that. He'll be right to play. Yeah, yeah, yep, at this stage.